Good morning. Well, yesterday we were rained off this job. Anyway, as I think you saw when I came back, we checked and this tractor's not charging. And it's got a dynamo. Now, the thing is, I know how to test a dynamo and I went to do it. And fair enough, you know, it's been a while and I forgot a bit. But, um, people that know me well know that I don't suffer fools. And when I'm a fool, well, I've often been my own worst enemy, so uh, <laughs> we've had the strop and got over it, but uh, no, I don't like it. But anyway, I was going to demo this when I came here, but they're very busy and behind, so we can't do that. So I'll just tell you, there's plenty of... I look, in the end, I looked at a video, which the first thing you do is go on YouTube, isn't it? So back to basics. The thing is, back to the start. You don't need me to test equipment. We all know this, right? right from millions of years ago that if you pass a conductor through a magnetic field you get an electromotive force and if you in other words you get a voltage and you put a volt through a conductor you get a magnetic field and you join it together and you're a motor and a dynamo and a motor is the same so you join the field and the output together and put a battery on it and it works as a motor and I did find something else I made two mistakes actually because these connections were nicely greased, I trusted them. So I trusted someone else's work. And this, because it's been out, the field spade connector was quite corroded. So that could be the problem. So what I'm going to do now is put it back on and just try it. There's no need to test it anymore because I know this works and I know it's perfect now. So I'm going to get on and do that and then we'll get back to you. Well, I put the dynamo on and uh, I just tried it. I didn't put a meter on the battery or anything. I just connected it up and uh, I put the lights on. And if you can see, the ammeter goes to discharge. So I started it up and revved it up a bit and it was charging so I thought oh we're done and then all I did was move these wires tried it again and it didn't work the lights didn't work and this wire had come off so what I've done I've stripped the wires back and lubed them up and got those all right they need taping up so that was all right. Tried again. Now it's not charging. So <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? So put it down and have a think. I've got some more tests to do on the dynamo now as it's on. I know what to do now. So what I have done though is this job here. This is the next job and this is successful. So let's have the successes. This bracket here was all bent up and twisted with this clutch spring on, which was quite tight. And it needs that. It's a proper thing. And it needs it to hold it off the uh, thrust bearing. But it was right up, so it's touching the thrust bearing. Now, because I can ask people, I've got at the week, um, probably tomorrow, it's Friday today. So probably tomorrow, um, I'll find someone at a show. There's a big show I'm going to. And... Uh, I can find out some details because there are a lot, you know, someone we're enough here will know these things. And I can take the camera and take some pictures of how things are supposed to be if there's some tidy ones there. So that's where we're up to at the moment. So at the moment it's uh, Malcolm 1, tractor 9. So <laughs> we'll get there. Now I do have something else to show you. All right, I, um, I thought, right, we'll have a proper oil tin. You know, I went to the shop, they haven't got any stock, so they ordered them. And it, I went yesterday and it come. And apparently, it's, I won't go too close, but I'll read it. Uh, quality faithful tools, and Mark said they're normally quite good. Anyway, I will just show you something. Uh, if we can see it here, I think we can see it there. Right. I've just got to unscrew this a bit. I might just have to uh, use two hands for a moment. I've just got to loosen that. 
there we are. Right, I've just loosened it. Now look at this. This is brand new out the box. I'm spilling oil all over, but I don't mind that. You want some oil on things. Look at this. Brand new out the box. Look at the threads. Can you see that? Just like there aren't any. Right, brand new out the box. So I uh, ground a bit off the nut. I'll tighten up in a minute. And done that. But I mean, all right. Yes, I could have gone back and changed it, but Lincoln's five miles away. And the shop, at the moment they're doing road works and where the shop is. So it'll be half hour through town to do that. So what do you do? You know, and I've spent the money. Um, it was uh, well, six pounds odd, I think, at the end. It was 550 plus fat which is 20 so about six pounds which at normal exchange rates would be ten dollars so it isn't a cheap thing you know i'm not uh, spending much money on it but i thought well we'll have the, the right equipment to go with it for you know a relatively small amount and that's what you get i suppose it's modern day you know it's just modern day but it's just a nuisance isn't it right now, i thought better do just a recap so um, what I did, I did get a chance to check, check the alternator, as I told you, just put the field to the output and put a voltmeter on it and with it a little more than thicker, about 800, it was reading 15 volts, so there's nothing wrong with the dynamo, so that was good news. And I've achieved some things, I've, um, I've got the spring on the clutch pedal. So that's important because apparently it rests on the thrust bearing but I've been told it's had a thrust bearing and it was right up to the stop so it'll be alright but I've just got to investigate that and there's two side pans I've seen. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to this show and find someone with enough field that knows more about them because like I said, although I'm an agricultural engineer, um, I've never actually worked on tractors, I did everything else. Uh, so that was my training, you know. We only worked on tractors at college and on the farm I've done occasional little bits but nothing much on them, you know, other than driving them and blow the tyres up, put diesel in and stuff like that. So that's alright um, and that's about it. So this week we've done quite well, we found a tractor that appears to be in reasonable condition. It's had a few bodges we've got to do but the whole idea of it is to bodge it and use it but not to bodge it up what someone can't put right at a later date. Um, and I'll show you a bit more around it after the weekend. So at this show tomorrow, we'll have to see, but if there is a tractor at the show tomorrow, similar tractor, in you know, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll take a video of it, um, if it's in good order, and I'll just show you how it should be. And that's more for myself than anything, but I'm sure you'll be interested to see you know, what it should be like, because I'm sure there should be one there tomorrow, and if not, it will be at the showground uh, in about four weeks' time. There's definitely be some there that are in absolutely mint condition, you know, that are perfect. So, that's the plan anyway, so we'll see. Anyway, it's not going too badly, except that uh, it's fought me a bit. So overall, we've, as I say, we've got the tractor, and we got it on the road and we had a drive and everything seemed alright other than I got the tyre pressures too hard so you know basically I can say it's been a successful week right we'll report them with something else to say thanks a lot bye for now